Good morning. How are you? I'm just, you know me, I got to make sure. <laughs> I have to make sure that we are actually live. Good morning. Good morning. I hope you are having a phenomenal day. It's Robin John of Rosenhouse. I am so happy to be here with you as always. Having a little problem with the sharing out work in here. Let's see what happens. Okay jokey so um we are talking about today that you have the power so what does that look like what does that mean it means that first i have to still be able to do two things at once <laughs> i'm gonna get this i'm gonna get this one day where I do the sharing out seamlessly. All right, so you've got the power. What does that mean in, in context of today? Well, in the context of today, what we are talking about is your ability to adapt. Today is really, it, it, it has the capacity to be one of those days where you move from one thing to the next thing to the next thing to the next thing and while it it can like appear to move smoothly or it will move smoothly but at the same time there's this constant adaptation that has to happen so like you know i'm i'm, I'm already seeing it this morning right <laughs> I got up early, blah, 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 no problem, yada, yada, yada. And, um, and, and, jeez, oh, I gotta stop with the hair. And what happened was I had an outfit picked out that I was gonna put on. And then I was like, eh, I'm not really feeling that today. And so I, I checked the weather and I was like, oh, that's why I'm not feeling it today going to be much cooler than I expected. Okay, fine. So sounds silly, but it's like, all right, let me just, you know, boom, boom, boom. I found what I wanted really quick. Yay. Happy with my outfit, blah, blah, blah. Um, moving about my morning. I'm wearing white, but I was like, I'm not wearing a white shirt. I should be good. Me and white. <laughs> I try so hard. We don't seem to get along. Um, <laughs> and so I'm putting my makeup on today and I have, you know, dark gray pencil eyeliner on and all of a sudden a huge chunk of the pencil falls off and I'm sitting while I'm, while I'm doing this and I'm like looking at, you know, in my sweatshirt, I'm looking at my, I don't see it. I'm like, oh, maybe it fell to the floor. I'm good. So I go to the bathroom or, you know, later on and the mirror, I catch the full length and there on my jacket and on my pants is a huge splotch of dark gray eyeliner, like all over. So now I have to adapt yet again and change my clothes yet again. <laughs> And go into the take, you know, go into the whole process of getting charcoal, almost black eyeliner off of white. But instead of ruminating over this, I was like, okay, fine. But I need, I have to be on my, uh, my call at nine o'clock. I have to do this, 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 and this. So I'm just going to get A, B, C, D, and E done. And then after I go live, I will change my clothes and I will deal with the eyeliner. By allowing myself to make the adaptation 
without getting into this whole, oh man, here we go again, I can never wear white, blah, blah, blah. Instead, I just kind of chuckled and was like, all right, <laughs> I'm not giving up yet. <laughs> I'm going to find a way to get aligned with wearing white <laughs> without getting aligned by putting eyeliner on me. You know, like it just went into that kind of an energy. And because I'm in that energy, you know, when it comes time to get changed, it'll be a quick and easy thing. And that's where the strength comes in. Like you have the power to adapt easily and move through these processes easily if you let yourself easily and elegantly, right? And that's, that's the energy that's available to you today. So today might seem a little bit extra busy because you're moving from one thing to the next thing to the next thing to the next thing. And as long as you allow yourself to just stay in that flow and, and get and, and adapt and not start judging yourself. So like here's, this was one of the keys for me to, to move through this. And one of the things that's greatly changed in my life, you know, over the past, I would say year or so. Previously, I would have been like, you're so stupid, Robin. Like, why would you even think to put that color eyeliner on while you're dressed? Why didn't you just put your makeup on while you were in your robe? You know what happens when you wear white, blah, 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 blah. You know, and, and, and it would, and the other languaging that I would have entered into was, you put your makeup on every day. How could you be so stupid? How could you be so careless? How could you be so whatever, whatever bad word I decided at that moment that to put my eyeliner on in such a way that I made the tip fall off? <laughs> you know, like, where does that get you? Where does it get me? Is And is that really true? You know, sometimes things just happen. <laughs> they just happen. What happened today, I can't tell you the last time it's happened with the eyeliner. And I just happened to be wearing white. So this is how acceptance of yourself helps you to move through this more quickly. Because when you accept yourself, you're not going into that whole negative language. You're just like, oops. <laughs> well, that's not the result I was trying to create. All right. <laughs> you know, I'll move on and, and just, you know, move on to the next step and do what I got to do. Like, that's all it is. You get to decide what things mean and there's power in that as well. So when you can move through the, you know, today's energy of being busy, having to constantly make, ad, uh, you know, adaptations, you know, could, like lots of course correcting today, just plan for it, be okay with it, oops, you know, it, it's not, it's not this, I should have known, I'm so stupid. Why is this happening again? That's not the generative energy. That's not the powerful energy. That's not the powerful place of being. That's not tapping into your power. If you believe that you are truly a child of the divine, and I, and I believe that we all are, then, you know, just, just like we inherit stuff from our biological parents, we inherit stuff from divinity. The difference is we're with our biological parents in the physical world all day long. And unless you grew up in an empowering um, religious environment or an, or, an, or an empowering spiritual environment, um, most of the time you place 
more meaning on what you learned from your parents rather than what you learned from your spiritual process and your spiritual growth. I know a lot of people who have who who are um, have a very strong faith, and it helps them to deal, you know, with life's ups and downs, you know, and downs and ups, and still will often have low self esteem based on you know messages that they misinterpreted from their parents, rather than the overarching message of you know. In that case, God loves you. At the very least, God just is, and God doesn't judge you, right? Like, there are things that you need to decide are true for you. I, you know, to me, I my belief is truth is infinite. There's always a higher truth, an infinity, an infinite is infinite. <laughs> I believe that there's always a higher truth available. I also believe there's always a lower truth available. So I allow my beliefs to be very fluid. And I believe that there's no one pure, true, correct, right definition of God or the universe for that matter, or energy. Everything is based on the knowledge and the wisdom that we have access to at that time, conscious access to. We have access to all energy all the time, all wisdom all the time, all knowing all the time, but we're not always able to, we're not skilled at reaching it. It's something that we need to continue to learn. And I believe that that is something that goes on and on and on and on. So when I'm talking to you about things like going with the flow and just letting that, that uh, just moving along with it and letting that be your power, I'm also speaking about it from you know, from the sense of my filters, what I presuppose is true, what I believe is true. So you can take this information and filter it through your own belief systems and still allow it to be empowering to you. You know, there are some people who honestly believe that when things keep going wrong, even if you find the fixes for it, that it's not the right thing for them, that they're being guided away from it. I don't believe in that. I used to. Now, I believe that everything in the universe is here to help us grow. Some people call it evolve. I call it grow. And when we have these situations where we need to adapt, 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 this is going wrong, that's going wrong, this is going wrong. I believe that unless my internal radar that tells me that there are red flags here and I need to stop, slow down, there's some kind of danger, there's some kind of threat, there's something that has to be reassessed. I believe that these are all just opportunities for our growth, for us to get stronger. So when a million things go wrong time after time again, I prefer to look at that from the empowering belief of, yes, this is difficult. And once I get past this thing, I've now gotten, uh, I've now honed a new skill or gotten a new skill. I've now proven to myself that I could make it through that which I was terrified of. I, um, I'm being offered the opportunity to make a quantum leap in my growth. Because otherwise, it gets too tiring. It gets too exhausting. My negative emotions get in the way, and, and it makes it harder. My, my choice and my belief is that 
we get to have things be easy. It doesn't always mean effortless. And that doesn't always mean that it's smooth sailing. But your attitude is a big part of what makes it easier to get through so that it flows. I'm a believer in flow. And flow, I mean, even if you think about a boat on waves, right? I mean, you, you need to drive into, like when the, the bigger waves are coming, you need to drive into them or else you're just going to kind of go blah, 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 right? Um, but even driving into them, you still get a chunk sometimes. You still get a good bump. But what happens is it's this one quick, boom, it's over, versus when you don't drive into the waves, you're kind, you get seasick, and, blah, 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 and it lasts. <laughs> And it, and usually, usually, um, it, it's, it's, it becomes more problematic than meeting it head on because the boats are designed to meet the, the waves head on. And that's very much what we're talking about here. It's meeting things head on. It's dealing with them head on. It's, and it's having the understanding and the knowing that by doing so, by meeting this head on, that you are going to continue to get stronger. You are going to continue to grow. Now, the other thing that I want to say here is, and I don't want to sound like I'm um, contradicting myself. But here's the deal. There are a lot of people in this world with severe anxiety and severe trauma. You have to be aware of where you are in your mental health so that you can figure out how much you can handle. So there are some days, and I'm, and I'm speaking about this from experience. I mean, I have a history of depression. I have a history of panic attacks. I have a history of, of uh, nervous breakdown. I, you know, I have all of this in, in my history. Um, hormonal issues, vitamin deficiencies, like all kinds of stuff. And then, and then just life traumas that put me in, in that, that, yeah, where I was placed in those, those positions, right? And for many years, because I was a child and you don't have power really as a child, there, I didn't have choices to make. And then when I was old enough to make the choices, there was so much history of these you know, emotional and mental issues, I'm just going to call them, that I've had to overcome as an adult. And so I don't like to leave people out who are in that situation, right? There's the people here who are going to listen to what I say and they're like, Robin, why are you going on and on and on? Yeah, meet the problems head on. I'll just deal with it. Boom, boom, boom. Adapt, adapt, adapt. And God bless you. There's people in the middle. And then there are those of you who you're just not there right now. You're just not there right now. And so what I say to you is with this energy today, make sure, make sure you're doing what you need to do to take care of you so that you can operate at the best and at the highest level that's available to you today based on where you are. That's number one. Number two, it's okay to step back. It's okay to turn around and say, this is just too much for me today. Be honest with yourself. Don't use it as an excuse. 
Don't push through because you have to. Radical self-honesty here. Now, there may be things that show up where you do kind of have to push through. Like there's times like as moms where, you know, when, when I was suicidal, I knew I only had a certain amount of energy available to me a day. And I used that energy to make sure my kids got off to school. And then I went back to bed. And then I used that energy to make sure that they were, they got safely home from school and that they had something to eat. That was all I could do at that time. And I understood that. So if you're in that place, or hopefully you're not suicidal, because I'm not, you know, who you should be talking to if you are. But if you feel like you're just in that place of hopelessness or helplessness and you just don't have that energy, then think about what's really, 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 really important. Like the stuff that really is life or death important. Put your energy into that. And then put the rest into whatever you need to do to care for you. Tomorrow could be a better day. An hour from now could be a better hour. But I, the, the big thing is, I don't want you to feel shameful. I don't want you to, I don't want you to feel ashamed. And I don't want you to judge yourself. Because that does the most harm you could ever do to yourself. If you are in a space today where you can't meet the challenges head on, where you just can't do it. And I know there's a lot of coaches and teachers out there who say everybody can do it. And I know from personal experience that that's not true right now. You may need to do things like I did. I, you know, I got a whole bunch of supplements on board and I still have days. I do this work. I pray, I meditate, I journal, I clear my energy. And there are still days where I have to work on my mind for whatever reason. Is it, is there some kind of chemical imbalance? Do I need to adjust my supplements? Is it just the day ending and why? Is it because my, you know, I, I have a lot of genetic errors that are expressing themselves. Are they just being extra loud that day? There's no shame in that. And today, your flow, your moving from one thing to the other, your adaptation may be because you just can't operate for whatever reason at your highest level. And that's okay. When you accept that that's where you are, it lifts such a burden from your shoulders. And guess what? It frees up energy for you. That's why I'm doing this free masterclass in the Manifestation Lab on Thursday. If you're not in there, join. It's free to join. It's free to join. The Manifestation Lab is where I support people to be able to manifest the life that they want, the dreams that they want, the desires that they want, the business, the, the emotional state, the homes, the money, the love. 
I teach people in there that, and I support people in there so that they can have all of this, regardless of where they are in life, regardless of who they are, regardless of where they are in, on, in their spiritual life, their emotional life, personal development. Because I honestly and truly believe that the key to making it all easier is for you to just be okay with how you are. Be okay with yourself. There are people who believe that the key to happiness and all of that is self-love. I don't disagree and I do disagree. Reaching a point of self-love for many people is such a lofty goal that it becomes discouraging. What I want you to do is just be okay with yourself. Be okay with yourself. Accept that you are the way you are. If I judge myself as an energy coach and a, and a life coach and whatever other kind of coach people want to call me, because there are days when, my de when, when, when depression gets the best of me, if I judged myself for that, I would not be here doing this work. But I know I am not my depression. I just know that when it shows up, I have to make adjustments. That's all. It just is. It doesn't mean there's something inherently wrong with me. And anxiety, it doesn't mean there's something inherently wrong with me. I'm lucky because I discovered the, that there are biological reasons for why I am the way I am. In addition to that, I understand my life experiences and how they added to these biological aspects. Not everybody's so lucky. I've also got a nice case of ADD. Living in my world isn't easy. But it's so much easier when it's like, okay, I have ADD. I was talking about it yesterday. It's very hard for me to get started. So I've learned how to make adjustments so that sometimes somebody else starts something for me. And then I can tap into that and now go. But I've learned how to make adjustments. Before, I was like, never get anything done. I can't get started. Why do I do this? I suck, blah, 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 blah. And so nothing got done and I was miserable. And so was everybody around me. Once I accepted, it's really hard for me to get things started. And at that point, I didn't know why. And I just let the why go. It's like, it's just hard for me to get things started. Okay. The opposite end of the spectrum is here. The solution exists. What's the solution? You can't see the solution if you're beating yourself up. So that's why I truly, truly believe that, that self-acceptance, which is just, all right, this is how I am, I'm okay with it. 
You can choose to change a behavior because you know a different behavior is going to be more effective at you reaching your, your goal, dream, or desire, or you can choose not to change your behavior, even though it's not effective. And you don't beat yourself up about it. You just, you get more realistic about it. It's like, okay, I don't want to change this. So it's going to take me longer. And it's okay. And the thing is, people, all levels of success deal with this. They deal with this crap where they beat themselves up. And even my overachieving clients, I might, my, my, most of my clients are professional type A women, such overachievers. And they have, most of them have low self-esteem. Even though they know they're great at A, B, C, and D, they still have low self-esteem. You know what? When you learn to be okay with having low self-esteem, the low self-esteem starts having less power over you. And all of a sudden, your self-esteem levels start to rise without you doing anything. And the same thing goes for manifesting. When you, when you sit there and you're like, uh, you know, uh, this is my dream. I want to be a speaker, but who am I to be a speaker? When you accept that you want to be a speaker and you have, and, and you, and you feel like you, you can't be a speaker because of who you are and because of how you are. But when you just accept it without judgment, all of a sudden opportunities show up that disprove all those negative thoughts about yourself and you start having the courage to say yes to the resources and the tools and the and 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 the steps that you need to take to reach being that speaker it's really fascinating it's 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 almost magical anyway anyway went off on a complete tangent i'm going to stop talking right now I just accept that once I start talking <laughs> about the stuff that I love to talk about, I don't want to stop. I want to keep going. <laughs> Hence Thursday's masterclass. Come join us in the Manifestation Lab. Let's help you to get what you want faster and easier than before, regardless of where you are on that self-esteem scale. You don't, you don't need to feel worthy in order to have the life you want, in order to have the business that you want, in order to have the love that you want. You don't need to. You really don't. And I can tell you, I'm living proof of that. And so are many of my clients. So come join us in the Manifestation Lab can search it out on Facebook. Make sure you answer all three questions plus agree to the group guidelines or else I'm not, I, I, I can't accept you. Because if you can't, I'm totally honest here, if you can't follow directions, you're in the wrong place. <laughs> that's, you know, the way it is. So that's what I have for you guys today. Thanks for hanging around with me for so long. I really, really hope you found this helpful. If you did, make sure that you share it out with your friends or tag them. Feel free to ask me any questions. You can always DM me on Facebook or on IG. Um, you can tag me on, uh, on my Facebook page. You can friend me over on my regular page. It's all Robin John or Rosenhouse. Um, I'm here for you. All right, guys. All right. That's it for today. Remember, when you align your energy, you accelerate your results. I'll see you tomorrow.